Jiang Ijian sent a message to Lu Zhou via flying letter. Anyang city is about to be in chaos. After hearing this, Duan Mushing asked with confusion, Has Wei Zhuiyan's identity been exposed? Ming Shireen speculated. Jiang Ijian had already sent a letter last time, informing us of the real Wei Zhuiyan's location. Now, knowing that Wei Zhuiyan is an imposter, indicates that Jiang Ijian has his informants around Wei Zhuiyan. Lu Zhou frowned slightly, thinking his deduction made sense. The intelligence from Jiang Ijian should be accurate, even if the high-ranking officials in the palace know that Wei Zhuiyan is fake, they would not openly admit it. The command of the armed forces must not be in disarray. After all, the overall situation is what matters. So, those who want to move against Wei Zhuiyan are the ones who wish to disrupt the overall situation. Could it be the Jade Consort seeking an opportunity to stir trouble in the Great Flame? The Jade Consort comes from the Western regions, and only she has the strongest motive. As Lu Zhou pondered, a female cultivator came in to report, Qian from the Mountain Foot requests to see you. It's the clansman of the little junior sister, who has been here before. Could it be that something has happened again? Lu Zhou waved his hand, let him come up. Soon after, Qian, trembling, entered the hall, and knelt down with a thud. Qian pays respects to the elder. Ming Shireen looked at him with curiosity. What's the matter? Kidnapped again? Qian hurriedly answered. No, no, not a kidnapping. The old master and madam plan to move away from Anyang. They are concerned about the young miss, and wish to see her before leaving. Ming Shireen smiled slightly. Then do you know, once you join the evil Sky Pavilion, you must sever past conventions? Qian nodded. I know. Ming Shireen raised an eyebrow. Knowing that, you still dare to come? Qian cowed out deeply. Ever since the incident with Green Sun, the old master and madam have been constantly thinking about the young miss. Now that the young miss is 16, the old master and madam very much wish to see her once. After this meeting, they will not seek another. I beg the pavilion master for mercy. Lu Zhou remained silent. According to the rules of Evil Sky Pavilion, once you enter the sect, you must cut off the past. We cannot make exceptions just because of familial ties. If every disciple were to cling to worldly attachments, what would become of us? He asked emotionally. Why are they moving away? Qian answered honestly. Anyang has been unsettled recently, with frequent murders occurring. It's said that there are foreign tribes appearing. Before, the Qi family had the protection of the government, but now those people have fled. Lu Zhou nodded after hearing this. Considering Jian Aijian's intelligence, Wei Zhuiyan was ordered to go to Anyang to quell the unrest. Thus, it seems Qian has not lied. After a long moment of contemplation, he waved his hand, showed the guest out. Qian was stunned. He seemed not to have heard whether he was granted permission to see the young miss. Ming Shireen, impatient came over to him. Are you leaving? Yes, yes. Qian did not dare to ask further, and hurriedly left the Grand Hall. Meanwhile, in the Grand Hall of the Crouching Dragon Dark Net headquarters, a subordinate approached Si Wuya, reporting to the master, a flying letter from Mr. Fourth of Evil Sky Pavilion. Si Wuya, who was playing a game of chess, inquired, What's the matter? It's been years since Evil Sky Pavilion contacted us. This is the first time. The subordinate revealed the content of the flying letter. Evil Sky Pavilion wishes for you to investigate the whereabouts of Yinsan. Yinsan? Correct the sole heir of the Divine Thieves sect. Yen Zi Yin San. The Divine Thieves sect no longer exists. Now only Yin San remains. What does the master want with him? I am not sure. Si Wuya found it odd. To put it nicely, Yin San is the heir of the Divine Thieves sect. To put it harshly, he's just a thief. What kind of person is the master? To personally reach out to me for a mere thief? The subordinate bowed, seemingly having thought of something. It's rumored that Yin San stole something from Evil Sky Pavilion. Could it be because of this? Si Wuya laughed in surprise. Master, oh master, you're becoming more and more narrow-minded. Do you want your subordinate to investigate Yin San? After all, the Dark Net does not belong to Evil Sky Pavilion, and there's every reason to refuse. Si Wuya spoke calmly, then let it be as he wishes. After all, he's getting old. Hopefully, he can spend these last ten years comfortably. What's been happening with the Clarity Sect and the Orthodox Sect recently? The subordinate answered. The Clarity Sect and the Orthodox Sect assembled to head to Tiger Ridge Gang, but came back empty-handed yesterday. They must be furious. Si Wuya nodded. Good. Any movements in the palace? Wei Zhuiyan has already left the Divine Cap capital to quell the unrest in Anyang. Si Wuya waved the peacock feather in his hand. Such audacity from an imposter. Master, what should we do? No need to bother. Let the word out that the heavenly silkworm gloves have appeared in Anyang. Yun San is indeed skilled in theft, but he's too proud, since the old man wishes to find Yun San. How could I, as his disciple, ignore it? The heavenly silkworm gloves will be the perfect bait. The subordinate immediately turned and left. I will obey and proceed immediately. Three days later, over these three days, Mr. Ninth has been copying the Supreme Purity Jade Slip spending the days in the pavilion copying, resulting in back pain and hand cramps. At night, entering the reflection cave as punishment. Fortunately, Mr. Ninth was honest and accepted the punishment. No one else could help her. Only Mr. Five stayed by her side, offering comfort whenever possible. After listening to Zhou Jifeng's story, a female cultivator next to him asked curiously, How do you know? Zhou Jifeng chuckled, I guess. After copying for the hundredth time, Little Yuan -er organized the hundred supreme purity jade slips. Exhausted, she collapsed onto Zhao Yu. Sister, is Master really 
angry. Xiao Yu smiled at her. Master is doing this for your own good, to prevent you from making mistakes in the future. Little Yuan or felt wrong. Then how will I practice Brahma Heaven Silk in the future? Upon hearing this, Xiao Yu affectionately stroked her head. Practice is practice, but you can't always go all out without restraint. I don't mind Zhou Jifeng and Pan Zhong getting beaten, but you even went hard on your brothers and sisters. How could Master not be angry? Hearing this, Little Yuan or giggled. Right, I'll be gentler next time. After organizing the Supreme Purity Jade Slips, Little Yuan or hurriedly went to Lu Zhou to greet him. Lu Zhou spoke calmly. Have you thought it through? Little Yuan or nodded like a pecking chicken. I will respect my brothers and sisters, and be filial to Master from now on. Good that you've thought it through. Repeat this offense, and I won't be lenient. Lu Zhou slowly stood up. An evil Sky Pavilion, lacking respect for seniors, you still have brothers and sisters to cover for you. On the path of cultivation, where hearts are perilous, who will protect you? For ten years, a hundred years, a thousand years? Lu Zhou wasn't sure if he could continue living forever by exploiting system loopholes, especially after discovering that the price of prop cards would increase. He became extra cautious, not using cards lightly anymore. You honor, you're now sixteen. Do you have any wishes? I only have one wish. That master lives a long life. To this answer, Lu Zhou was surprised. Why? Everyone says that master's time is running out, and he can only live for another ten years at most. I don't believe it. They will all pass away, but master won't. Lu Zhou looked at the innocent little you honor and smiled gently. This girl's nature is not bad, and she has helped me a lot along the way. Now that she has entered the nascent divinity tribulation realm and possesses Brahma Heaven Silk, how could I let her stray onto the wrong path? She will be slowly guided in the future, and there is much to look forward to. You honor, have you ever thought about your family? After hearing this, little you honor shook her head, possibly because she was very young when she left home, so her concept of home is not very clear. Lu Zhou sighed deeply. You and your brothers and sisters are different. They have been alone and unsupported since childhood, without any attachments. During this conversation, Ming Shireen walked in briskly. Master, your predictions are divine. Old Seventh has replied and agreed to help us find Yin San. Lu Zhou nodded. Good. Ming Shireen glanced at little Yuan or, Master, about the little junior sister. Lu Zhou waved his sleeve, sending a flying letter to Jiang Aijian to meet in Anyang City. Hearing this, Ming Shireen's face showed joy. Little junior sister, aren't you going to thank master? Although little Yuan was confused, she obediently expressed her thanks to the master. Lu Zhou then entered the secret chamber. In the past few days, apart from contemplating the heavenly writing, he occasionally tried his luck with the draw, but even with the luck value accumulated to 89 points, he didn't win any prizes. Contemplating the heavenly writing was more practical. Unconsciously, a night passed. Ding, you have read through all the content of the heavenly writing human volume 100 times, and have been awarded 100 merit points. Lu Zhou got up and stretched, reading so many times, it took so long to read through all the content of the human volume, however, I can clearly feel that my mental state is more vigorous than all previous comprehensions combined, my skin still looks old and decrepit, with no significant change, comprehending heavenly writing merely improved his mental state, Lu Zhou opened the system store and noticed a line of small text in the item card section, indicating that the prices of item cards change with cultivation level and number of purchases, looking at the prices, indeed, they had increased, lethal strike sells for 800, impenetrable 4 600, and thunderous energy 4 400. This is simply a ripoff. Both conditions apply simultaneously, which can urge the host to improve their strength quickly while also providing enough self-protection when the host is weak. This system really doesn't leave any loopholes to exploit. Thankfully, the reversal card price hasn't increased. I'm still depending on it to survive. If even that went up in price, then it would really be game over. While he was pondering, Ming Shireen's voice came from outside. Master, the flying chariot is ready. Lu Zhou then stepped out of the secret chamber. The huge flying chariot was quietly hovering at the foot of the mountain, but Lu Zhou suddenly changed his mind. This trip to Anyang should be low profile. There's no need to use the flying chariot, and we shouldn't bring too many people. He had a premonition that something Jiang Aijian wanted to discuss in person would be too conspicuous with too many people. Evil Sky Pavilion strength was still lacking compared to its glorious days. Even the newly joined Eight Leaves powerhouse, Fan Xiuwen, might not compare to Evil Sky Pavilion at its strongest. During its prime, who wouldn't fear Evil Sky Pavilion? If the first disciple, Yu Zhenghai, and the second disciple, Yu Shangrong, were around, the calamity of ten top experts besieging Golden Court Mountain wouldn't have occurred. A significant portion of Evil Sky Pavilion needed to stay behind. After much consideration, Lu Zhou decided to take only Lil Yuan, Ming Shireen, and Duan Mushing to Anyang. Xiao Yu and Zhu Honghong, whose strengths and cultivation levels were weaker, were more suited to stay at Evil Sky Pavilion. Lu Zhou gestured, an auspicious aura descended from midair. The divine beast White Surge stepped through the void and arrived in front of him. Xu Honghong was amazed by the master. Where did he tame this mount? Xiao Jifeng smiled slightly. Ordinary mounts can only be captured in foreign lands or forested areas. A mount like this, with a certain skill, it's all up to luck. It's said that the great mister once went to the misty forest.
forest to tame a legendary griffin as a mount, but nobody has ever seen it. Xiao Yu glanced at him. Keep your voice down. Do you want to die? Upon hearing this, Xiao Jifen quickly shut his mouth, discussing the first disciple, Yu Xinghai, within Evil Sky Pavilion. If the pavilion master heard, what then? Lu Zhou called out, then took off with Little Yuan on White Sir, with Ming Shireen and Duan Mushing following on either side. An hour quickly passed, and Lu Zhou and Little Yuan appeared on the streets, with Little Yuan supporting her master. Master, should we grab someone to ask? Lu Zhou shook his head. No need, let's go directly to the Qi residence. Though he felt somewhat surprised, the number of street vendors has have compared to my last visit, looking somewhat desolate, but the rise and fall of Anyang City should be a headache for the Emperor of Great Flame. What does it have to do with me? Soon after, they arrived at the gate of the Qi residence. Little Yuan politely said, Master, I'll knock on the door. Lu Zhou nodded. Go ahead. I didn't teach this girl in vain. Following the old ways, she would have probably kicked the door indirectly, just as Lu Zhou felt reassured. Two loud bangs. The door was directly smashed open. Qi and inside the courtyard saw the scene, stunned and standing dumbfounded, seeing that it was the young miss returning. After a moment of stun, Qi and hurried to report to the old master and madam. Master, I didn't control my strength. Lu Zhou sighed helplessly. No matter. The door's quality was too poor. Let's go inside. Upon entering the courtyard, they saw dozens of people surrounding. A middle-aged man and woman in brocade clothes coming towards them. This was little Yuan'er's father, Qi Yuan, and her mother, Qi Zhangshu. Qi Yuan, now middle-aged, possessed an imposing stature, while Qi Zhangshu was dignified and graceful, still retaining her charm. In her youth, she must have been a lady of great beauty, captivating and distinguished. However, Lu Zhou was surprised to see that Qi Yuan, upon seeing him, besides being slightly more focused, was neither servile nor overbearing, and not at all afraid. Such courage in an ordinary person is indeed rare. Lu Zhou called out little Yuan'er's name. Bow to your parents. After all, kneeling to heaven, earth, and parents is the righteous way. Little Yuan'er complied, and obediently knelt down, knocking her head several times with a bang. Tears streamed down Qi Zhangshu's face. Moved, she hugged her tightly. Qi Yuan bowed his hands, his eyes filled with awe and respect. Thank you. Lu Zhou just nodded slightly in response. Little Yuan'er was a bit bewildered by the hug. Having not seen them much in six years, she felt somewhat estranged. After some pleasantries, Lu Zhou was invited into the room. With no outsiders present, Qi Yuan and his wife knelt down gratefully. On that day, Elder, you saved the Qi residents from danger. Please accept our bow. Lu Zhou casually released forceful energy, lifting them up. As Yuan'er's parents, you are my peers. No need to kneel. I have questions to ask. Hope you think carefully before answering. Please ask, Elder, what has happened in Anyang? Qi Yuan did not dare to hide anything. Answering honestly, rebel troops are causing chaos. The common people are suffering greatly. It won't be long before the people of Anyang are displaced. Hearing this, Lu Zhou was somewhat puzzled. Isn't the commander of the three armies, Wei Zhuiyan, in Anyang? Qi Yuan sighed. He arrived north of Anyang City the day before yesterday, but did not enter the city. I'm not sure why. Lu Zhou nodded. After all, Wei Zhuiyan is an imposter. Being cautious is to be expected. One last question. Since Yuan er entered Evil Sky Pavilion at the age of 10, joining Evil Sky Pavilion means cutting off the past. Regarding the Green Sun incident, considering your family was in dire straits, I can overlook the past, but why this time? Qi Yuan quickly took out a brocade box. Elder, please look. After saying that, he opened the brocade box, revealing a black magnolia quietly placed inside. Lu Zhou, puzzled, asked, Black magnolia? Qi Yuan glanced at little Yuan er, remaining silent. Lu Zhou understood, meaning there were matters not suitable for Yuan er to know. So, he found an excuse to have little Yuan er go outside to check. Little Yuan er complied, and immediately ran out of the courtyard like the wind, but not long after she left, a gentle voice suddenly reached her ears. Hello, little Yuan er, on guard, turned to look. Who are you? Yu Shang Rong, with a smile, watched her. Just as I thought. What's just as you thought? Don't look, or I'll gouge out. Little Yuan er stopped herself mid sentence, remembering her master's warning, and swallowed her words back. I'm warning you, don't follow me. Yu Shang Rong seemed not to hear, and followed leisurely with his arms crossed. Seeing this, little Yuan er became furious. She suddenly turned around, stomped her foot on the ground, and the next second, with a loud bang, the ground caved in. She thought the person before her would be frightened, but the swordsman in green robe didn't seem to care at all, continuing to follow and watch her intently, even smiling. Could this guy be some kind of weirdo? Thinking this, she surrounded herself with forceful energy, and attacked fiercely. However, Yu Shanrong remained stationary, his protective forceful energy repelling all of little Yuan'er's attacks. Her figure darted around, unable to break through his defense. Yu Shanrong did not counterattack, maintaining a calm and collected demeanor. Little Yuan'er grew more frustrated, yelling, Hunter Tribulation inside Avatar. The next second, an avatar almost as tall as her appeared by her side. At this moment, Yu Shanrong moved, lightly tapping it, and the delicate avatar vanished. Everything returned to calm. Little Yuan'er, frustrated, flailed her arms but couldn't reach him, driving me mad. Let go, let go now. Yu Shanrong smiled slightly. Interesting. After struggling for a moment, Little Yuan'er had no choice but to give
give up. Fine, you win. Seeing her calm down, Yu Shanrong finally put Little Yuaner down on the ground. Hello, Little Yuaner, clenching her fists, intended to walk back, responding huffily, not good. At that moment, Yu Shanrong approached with a smile, Little Junior Sister, you should also say, hello. Little Yuaner looked incredulously at the man before her. Ha, huh? Yu Shanrong smiled gently, I am your second senior brother. In Little Yuaner's memory, there wasn't much about the eldest and second senior brothers. Before she joined, they had already left Evil Sky Pavilion. Strictly speaking, they had never formally met, let alone knew each other. Seeing her disbelief, the longevity sword on Yu Shanrong instantly unsheathed. Appearing in front of Little Yuaner, noticing the ethereal longevity sword, she reacted with a look of surprise. Ah, second senior brother? No, wait, a traitor. Realizing the issue, she stepped back cautiously. Yu Shanrong looked at her calmly. Little junior sister, do you also think I'm a traitor? Little Yuaner, looking at her second senior brother, who gave off a kind of big brother next door vibe, found it hard to believe he was a traitor. She shook her head. I don't know. If master says so, then it must be true. Yu Shangrong seemed a bit disheartened after hearing that. Let's not talk about that now. Curious. Little Yuaner followed him. What are you doing in Anyang? To see you. How did you know I was here? Seventh junior brother told me. Did seventh senior brother also come? I don't know. What about the eldest senior brother? I don't know. Second senior brother. Can I see your sword? For a swordsman, the sword is their life. Never leaving their side. Yet, Yu Shangrong did not hesitate. Sure. After receiving it, Little Yuaner waved it a few times, then respectfully handed it back to him. As they neared the Qi residence, Yu Shangrong stopped, took out a box, and said, Little junior sister, your second senior brother has a gift for you. Upon hearing this, Little Yuaner joyfully took it, opened it, and saw a neatly folded set of exquisite blue clothing inside. I hope little junior sister likes it. I'm glad to have met you. I have other matters to attend to. After saying this, Yu Shangrong disappeared into the distance. Watching his figure, Little Yuaner gratefully said, Thank you for the gift, second senior brother. After entering the Qi residence, Qian informed Lu Zhou wanted to see her. Hearing this, Little Yuaner quickly went to the room. Lu Zhou's gaze fell on the brocade box she was holding, remaining silent, afraid of a misunderstanding. Little Yuaner hurriedly explained, Master, I didn't steal it. It was a gift from second senior brother. As she spoke, she opened the box, showing its contents. Master, it really is a gift from second senior brother. A piece of clothing. I wouldn't just steal a single piece of clothing, right? Seeing this, Lu Zhou raised an eyebrow, recognizing the clothing inside as the cloud robe feather dress. The cloud robe feather dress was knitted by three generations of tailors skilled in knitting, taking a hundred years to weave. The collection of materials and formation of patterns, designs, and composition took decades to prepare. All materials came from the misty forest. The cloud robe feather dress can reduce most forceful energy damage, belonging to the same category of treasures as the precious Zen robe, and its level might even be slightly higher than the precious Zen robe. I didn't expect Yu Shangrong to be so generous. Such a treasure. It would truly be a pity to lose it. After pondering for a moment, Lu Zhou said, keep it. Little Yuaner was overjoyed upon hearing this, and after storing the cloud robe feather dress, she exited the room. From his conversation with Qi Yuan, Lu Zhou learned that Little Yuaner had been seriously ill since she was young. Qi Yuan sought medical advice everywhere, and a sage diagnosed that Little Yuaner's energy C was blocked. After joining Evil Sky Pavilion, Qi Yuan continued to worry about this issue. Now that he had found the Black Magnolia, that was why Qi Yuan went to Evil Sky Pavilion to request a meeting. Although Lu Zhou found it strange, that with Qi Yuan's ability and status, he shouldn't have access to the Black Magnolia. He didn't bother to dwell on these minor details. Time quickly moved to the afternoon, and Ming Shireen and Duan Mushing arrived at the Qi residence. As night fell, noises could be heard from the streets. Ming Shireen's voice sounded outside Lu Zhou's door. Master, there are rebel troops on the streets. Do you want your disciple to clean up? Lu Zhou shook his head. No need to bother with matters outside the Qi residence. With that, he closed his eyes, and continued his rest. Early the next morning, in the sky north of Anyang City, a flying chariot approached at a steady speed. Around the flying chariot, a formation of dozens of cultivators was formed. A large number of masked cultivators jumped down, attacking the soldiers of Anyang City. The two sides engaged in battle, with the sounds of fighting echoing. Thick smoke of battle drifted into the sky. Ming Shireen and Duan Mushing leaped onto the rooftop, watching from a distance. It seems the rebellion in Anyang is no small matter. The cultivators descending from the flying chariot, even though they were only in the sense condensing realm and Brahma Sea realm, faced ordinary soldiers as if wielding a butcher's knife against chicken. Easily overpowering them. Ming Shireen found it somewhat dull. Can Wei Zhuoran really handle this? Sending these small fries is like sending them to their deaths, right? An imposter is still an imposter. If he can't even quell the turmoil in Anyang, he probably can't keep his position either. No sooner had the words been spoken, two Ten Directions Universe avatars suddenly appeared from the north. The ability to use Ten Directions Universe avatars indicates that the cultivator's cultivation is at least around the mid divine court realm. The avatars were on the side of the soldiers, with these two avatars alone being enough to intimidate the masked cultivator.
cultivators. The masked cultivators began to retreat in defeat, as the Brahma Sea Realm and Sense Condensing Realm were no match for the Divine Court Realm. As the masked cultivators fled, a hundred Tribulation Insight Avatar appeared instantly, blocking their escape with the speed of lightning, revealing itself to be a six-leaf hundred Tribulation Insight Avatar that swept low without damaging any of the buildings on either side. Wherever it passed, the masked cultivators were sent flying. Following the disappearance of the hundred Tribulation Insight Avatar, a woman in blue brocade clothes slowly descended. She looked calmly at the remaining masked ones. Those who surrender will not be killed. Continue to create chaos, and you will be executed without mercy. What do we do now? Duan Musheng, seeing the expert, couldn't help feeling a rush to fight. Ming Shireen quickly stopped him. Don't move. It has nothing to do with us. Our master is highly skilled. He would have known about such a big commotion long ago. If he needed to intervene, why would he wait until now? Duan Musheng nodded in agreement. You speak wisely, junior brother. Under the pressure of the woman in brocade clothes, the masked cultivators felt threatened and kept retreating. At this time, the flying chariot in the sky slowly moved, drifting upward. The woman in brocade clothes stopped and looked up, sensing through the perception of an expert that there were powerful cultivators on the flying chariot. If the elder has come, why use the city's rebels? As the woman in brocade clothes finished speaking, there was no response from the flying chariot, as if they planned to ignore her. Both sides stood off, neither making a move. Then, the silence was broken by the sound of horse hooves. Wei Zhuiyan rode a tall horse, step by step approaching. Seeing this, the soldiers bowed in respect. Wei Zhuiyan did not look at them but at the woman in brocade clothes. Brocade clothes, do you know why the emperor sent me to quell the rebellion, yet only gave me 5,000 troops? Li brocade clothes nodded slightly in response. The battle of cultivators is not about quantity but quality. The emperor also intended to test the general's capabilities. Brocade clothes should not hide her skills. Hearing this, Wei Zhuiyan said no more, then turned his icy gaze towards the huge flying chariot in the sky, under the heavens. All land belongs to the king. By using the name of the rebel, to disturb Anyang. What are your intentions? Ming Shireen, witnessing this scene, was amazed. Wei Zhuiyan's acting and transformation are truly surprising. If we didn't know the truth, I would even think this is the real Wei Zhuiyan. From their conversation, Ming Shireen understood. This Li Brocade Clothes is the expert beside Wei Zhuiyan, showing the Six Leaf Technique, Hundred Tribulation Insight, and still holding back. What level of strength does she possess? How could such a broken place like Anyang have so many experts? Is the ground hiding treasures? Is the air sweet here? Hearing his mutter, Duan Mushing furrowed his brows, sniffed. It's not sweet. It even smells a bit. Third senior brother, stay away from me. This remark, not conveyed through voice transmission, was noticed by Lee Brocade Clothes. Her gaze, sharp as lightning, turned towards the rooftop. However, against the sunlight, she didn't see Ming Shireen and the others clearly. Strangers, retreat immediately. Hearing Lee Brocade Clothes' command, Ming Shireen and Duan Mushing quickly retreated. They had already concealed their aura, now no different from beginners in cultivation. At this moment, there was finally movement from the flying chariot. A voice came down. Wei Zhuiyan must die. Upon hearing this, Wei Zhuiyan's eyebrows rose. Arrogant, kill them. As his command was issued, his lieutenant immediately began to relay orders. But then, a giant sword flew out from the flying chariot, accompanied by a loud shout. Mysterious heavenly starlight. The giant sword, broad and somewhat like a door, spun like a giant windmill. Li brocade clothes. Hearing the words mysterious heavenly starlight, changed her expression. Underworld sect? Retreat. Ming Shireen and Duan Mushing were stunned. It's the eldest senior brother. I'll go inform the master to capture the traitor. Duan Mushing turned to leave. Ming Shireen shook his head, quickly grabbing him. No, wait, the eldest senior brother always carries a saber, not a sword. This giant sword, though resembling a saber, is not one. The power of mysterious heavenly starlight isn't strong enough. Otherwise, with the eldest senior brother's skills, would these people still be alive? After his reminder, Duan Mushing realized that this supposed eldest senior brother was an imposter. Resemblance. It's just too striking. Even disciples of evil Sky Pavilion need to carefully discern. How could others suspect? The two continued to watch the battle. Lee brocade clothes, seeing her people, being blown away by this mysterious heavenly starlight strike, could hardly believe it. General, retreat quickly. Wei Zhuiyan smiled confidently. I trust in your abilities. Hearing this, Li brocade clothes advised again. In high-level combat, your subordinates may not be able to fully protect you. If you die, the world will be in chaos. Wei Zhuiyan sighed deeply, and eventually heeded Li brocade clothes' advice. Retreating. Who would have thought Wei Zhuiyan could come this far? Relying on this Li brocade clothes, clothes, he felt very tired, mysteriously placed in this position, mysteriously tied to the entire world. Li Brocade Clothes looked towards the huge flying chariot in the sky, the grand arrival of the leader of the number one demonic sect, underworld sect. My apologies for any disrespect. A voice then came down from the flying chariot. What I want is Wei Zhuiyan's life. The young lady didn't quite understand. Underworld sect intervenes in the rebellion, hindering the general's efforts to quell it. Does this mean declaring enmity with great flame? Upon hearing this, the flying chariot immediately shot back. Seeking death, the giant sword appeared.
appeared again, with even greater momentum than before. Then I shall grant you your wish. As the voice fell, waves of killing intent surged out. Li brocade close, her eyebrows tightly furrowed, showed no fear. I am well aware I'm no match for the great leader, but I will not back down. Ming Shireen hadn't expected this brocade close woman to possess such courage. Even if the cultivator above was an imposter, his cultivation was genuinely strong. Could it be that this brocade clothes woman really hit her strength, able to match such a powerful opponent? At this moment, a petite figure flew out from the Qi residence. Upon closer inspection, it was little Yuaner, dressed in the cloud robe feather dress. She fluttered lightly, like a lark, making Duan Mushing and Ming Shireen envious. Master is really partial. A piece of Brahma heaven silk wasn't enough. He even gave her a cloud robe feather dress. Little Yuaner approached her two senior brothers, delivering Lu Zhou's message. Master said, Li brocade clothes and Wei Zhuiyan cannot die. Ming Shireen was startled. Are we to intervene? Jian Aijian sent a flying letter asking for Master's help. After hearing this, Ming Shireen nodded. Master is indeed kind-hearted, but Jian Aijian has always been diligent, considered one of our own. However, why would Jian Aijian want to help Li brocade clothes, seeing little Yuaner in the feather dress? Having a treasure like the cloud robe feather dress, how could she be an ordinary person? Even if she just entered the nascent divinity tribulation realm, still a young girl without a leaf opened. No one dares to underestimate her. A deep voice came from the flying chariot. Who is this girl? Little Yuaner snorted coldly, pointing towards the flying chariot. Master said, no one is to harm Li brocade clothes and Wei Zhuiyan. Silence fell upon the flying chariot, as if pondering something. Li brocade clothes gratefully said, thank you, little sister, for speaking up for us, but it's best you don't get involved in such matters. Better to look after yourselves. Little Yuaner blinked. Are you Li brocade clothes? Li brocade clothes smiled slightly, looking at her. Yes, I am, little sister. The one above the flying chariot is the leader of the world's number one demonic set, underworld set. Yu Hai, you better run for your lives. Hearing this, little Yuaner looked doubtfully at the flying chariot. Underworld sex leader, Li brocade clothes nodded. Yes, there's evil Sky Pavilion, with nine direct disciples from the demonic ancestor, all demons. This underworld sect leader is the chief disciple of evil Sky Pavilion, rumored to be an eight-leaf golden lotus, unbeaten to this day. Then, the voice from the flying chariot sounded again. Knowing who I am, why not surrender? Li brocade clothes his eyebrows furrowed. Why ask knowingly? Lord, how could I retreat? How ironic this statement was. Anyang City, even the safety of Great Flame, now depends on a woman. Ming Shireen, not considering himself a hero or a righteous man, felt this woman indeed bore a sense of responsibility. Then go to die. As the voice from the flying chariot fell, a giant sword spun down once again. Li brocade clothes lightly tapped her toes for leverage and surged into the sky, waving her arms to create a defensive barrier around her. The barrier glowed, brilliantly blocking the sword's forceful energy. Capture that girl. Following the command from the flying chariot, four figures immediately flew out towards Li brocade clothes. Even the four great protectors are imposters. Clearly, their strength and cultivation did not match up. Ming Shireen sneered upon seeing this. Our master said, Li brocade clothes must not die. With that, he charged like an arrow towards one of the masked cultivators. Duan Mushing followed closely, wielding the overlord spear, striking directly at another's face in a piercing attack. Little Yuaner's cloud robe feather dress fluttered, and the Brahma heaven silk appeared, the silk wrapped around the other two masked cultivators, restricting their movements due to their carelessness. Ming Shireen and Duan Mushing also gained an absolute advantage. Amidst the intense battle, a strange purple energy shot out from the flying chariot, an energy-like but unlike forceful energy. Li brocade clothes quickly raised her hand to counter with her own forceful energy. Finding it ineffective, she realized this strange purple energy was sorcery, targeted at little Yuaner. Everything happened too quickly. By the time Li brocade clothes reacted, it was too late. Pity, girl, I've done my best. Li brocade clothes charged towards the flying chariot, aiming to capture the king first. As the purple energy hit little Yuaner, the cloud robe feather dress suddenly shone with a deep blue radiance, counteracting the strange energy. Though it reduced most of the energy, the residual force still pushed Lil Yuaner back, barely stabilizing herself in the courtyard. She furiously roared and looked towards the flying chariot. Seeing the urgent situation, Chi Yuan, with worry in his eyes, hurriedly came to Lu Zhou's room asking for his help. Yet, Lu Zhou remained seated in meditation, without any response. At this moment, he felt as if a power was stirring in his mind, growing stronger, a sensation he had never experienced before. Previously, when comprehending heavenly writing, he only felt his mental state improving, and during encounters with Brahma sound and sorcery, it was triggered passively. This time was different, a mysterious feeling as if he could control this incredible power. I cannot stop. Once stopped, it would be very hard to find this feeling again. Meanwhile, Li brocade clothes reached above the flying chariot. With a flick of her hands, thousands of forceful energy seals began to form. Too late, a thunderous rebuke descended from the flying chariot. The thousands of forceful energy seals shattered by the terrifying sonic power before they could fully form. Seeing this, Ming Shireen alerted Duan Mushing, third senior brother, no 
still holding back now. Duan Mushing nodded and immediately deployed his avatar. 200 Tribulation Insight avatars appeared in the sky. Separation Hook and Overlord Spear pierced through the chests of the masked cultivators at almost the same moment. Little Yuaner, wielding the Brahma Heaven Silk, restrained the other two, tossing them towards her senior brothers. These two were much weaker, far from the previous two. Senior brothers, coming, Duan Mushing and Ming Shireen, understanding each other, simultaneously decapitated them. Little Yuaner, seeing Li Brocade clothes falling, rushed to her side and gently lowered her with the Brahma Heaven Silk. But then, the giant sword appeared in the sky again. Just what I wanted. The imposter commanded the giant sword to slash towards them. Li Brocade clothes, horrified. Great mysterious heavenly seal. Move away. She pushed Little Yuaner away. Little Yuaner frowned. What are you doing? I must fulfill Master's orders. Determined, she used the Supreme Purity Jade Slip to fly back to Lee Brocade Clothes' side. Both used Hundred Tribulation Inside Avatars to block the Great Mysterious Heavenly Seal. The forceful energy collision repelled the giant sword. At that moment, from the northwest of Anyan, a dark cloud swiftly approached. Lee Brocade Clothes quickly grabbed Little Yuaner's hand to descend. Prepare to retreat. A formidable enemy approaches. Ming Shireen, floating in the air, looked towards the cloud, realizing it wasn't a cloud, but a brown flying chariot. A huge flag with the words Underworld Sect fluttered on the flying chariot. Underworld Sect's leader Yu Zhenghai has appeared. Hearing his subordinate's report, the imposter's pupils dilated. Prepare to retreat. The girl spoils my plan. You won't escape. As he left, he launched a purple energy attack, forming a fork shape. Thinking of capturing my little junior sister, let's see if I allow it. Duan Mushing and Ming Shireen attack the purple energy. Li Brocade Clothes warned. It's no use. That's sorcery. As the giant fork neared, energy burst from the underworld sex flying chariot. Four figures leaped down, charging at the purple energy. Li Brocade Clothes thought they were underworld sex reinforcements. She sighed, protecting little Yuaner behind her. Little sister, you saved me once, so I'll save you. Take Wei Zhui in. He must not die. As she prepared to use great supernatural powers, Lu Zhou and the Qi residents slowly stood up. His gaze flickering, he simply uttered one word. Scram. In that moment, a sonic wave formed a vortex, bursting through the roof in a pale blue color, heading straight for the sky. The word scram, amplified by the vortex, shook upwards like a gigantic loudspeaker. The imposter's eyes widened in shock. What is this? Ming Shireen and his companion recognized it as their master's voice. Quick, descend. The sonic wave is heading upwards. Only below is safe. Those above are in trouble. The underworld sex for great protectors tensed. What kind of heaven-defying sonic power is this? They tried to block it, but found it impossible. Hastily retreating, the word scram exploded in the ears of every cultivator in the sky. The purple giant fork instantly dispersed. The sonic wave caused all cultivators within several miles around the Qi residence to fall. The citizens of Anyang City all heard this one word. The flying chariot above the south city gate, as if heavily damaged, fled swiftly. The Qi residence's gate slowly opened. Lu Zhou walked out, hands behind his back. Master, your disciples greet you. All three disciples knelt on one knee. Lu Zhou nodded at them. Seems the entrance wasn't flashy enough. My vital energy is nearly depleted. I don't know why I could unleash such extraordinary power. Even the vital energy I've accumulated in the divine court realm has been largely used up, and my mental state isn't as full as after comprehending heavenly writing. Yet, no one doubted the old man's strength. This elderly man was the master of the three experts. The three disciples had already knelt. Shocked, Li Brocade Clothes also quickly came before Lu Zhou, bowing respectfully. Please, elder, take action to repel the underworld sex for great protectors. In this vast world, there are many unparalleled experts who prefer not to engage in worldly conflicts. Hiding among us, the humble are strong. There's always someone stronger. This was a truth Li Brocade Clothes knew since childhood. Lu Zhou merely glanced at the underworld sex for great protectors in midair, and the four protectors involuntarily retreated a few steps, seemingly forgetting why they came here, hesitating in the air, daring not to descend. This unimpressive old man, the master of their sect leader, they were terrified by that one word scram. The sect leader said, the ancestor of evil Sky Pavilion's life was nearing its end, his strength and cultivation would rapidly decline within ten years. But if that were true, how could he have unleashed that thunder-like great supernatural power? Lu Zhou stroked his beard, spoke coldly, Rebel, won't you come down? Hearing these words, Li Brocade Close froze. Rebel, who else in this world dare speak to the underworld sect leader like this, able to admonish Yu Zhenghai in such a manner, if not the master of evil Sky Pavilion, that world-renowned demonic ancestor, Ji Tian Dao. Everything became clear. The elderly man who slowly walked out from the Qi residence is the greatest demon of the current era. The four great protectors of the underworld sect knelt in the air with a thud. Junior of underworld sect, Azure Dragon Halls Hua Chong Yang. Junior of underworld sect, White Tiger Halls Bai Yu Ching. Junior of underworld sect, Vermilion Bird Halls Yang Yan. Junior of underworld sect, Black Tortoise Halls Di Ching. Greets the elder. Li Brocade Clothes' eyes revealed a complex expression, seeing the underworld sect's four great protectors kneeling in midair. Also fearful of this elder, Ming Shireen chuckled.
chuckled gleefully, enjoying the spectacle. Eldest brother, no need to hide anymore. Come on down. Hearing this, Lee Brocade Close was stunned, now fully understanding the identity of these three individuals. At this moment, Wei Zhuiyan approached him, chuckling. There's no need to be afraid. Hua Chongyang took a deep breath, gathering his courage to speak. Apologies, Elder. The sect leader is not on the flying chariot. Lu Zhou frowned upon hearing this. Not there? Hua Chongyang continued. The sect leader, knowing of the Elder's presence here, specially dispatched us for. Ming Shireen laughed. They say your sect leader is invincible, fearsome across the world, yet he's so timid, afraid master might eat him. The four great protectors were left speechless. Indeed, that was the case. Yu Jinghai, like Yu Shangrong, received the news from Old Seventh about the master's arrival. How could he dare to come, even as the leader of the world's greatest demonic sect? What of it? So, he sent his subordinates, a show of both respect and pragmatism. The four great protectors, equal in strength, cultivation, and status to the sect leader, put on quite the show. They arrived full of confidence, but unexpectedly encountered the imposter's underworld sect flying chariot, and were shocked to find that, combined, they couldn't withstand a single scram from Ji Tiendao, something even their sect leader couldn't do. Now, they understood why the sect leader didn't come. The four earnestly and cautiously hovered midair, ready to flee at any moment. After all, escaping from such a powerful presence is not shameful. But before leaving, they had to fulfill the sect leader's orders. Hua Chongyang, bolstering his courage, took out a box, hoping the elder believes my words. The sect leader heard today is Mr. Ninth's birthday, and ordered us to present this gift. Nothing more. Hearing this, Ming Shireen leaped up, catching it. I'll do it, little junior sister, in case there's something harmful inside. Your senior brother can take the hit for you. Little Yuan -er nodded obediently. Thank you, senior brother. Ming Shireen casually opened the brocade box. Inside was not a trap of any kind, but a pair of light blue boots. These are known as cloud stepping boots. Mr. Ninth's agility and footwork are unmatched. With these boots, it's like adding wings to a tiger. Little Yuan -er's eyes sparkled with excitement, eagerly moving closer. Senior brother, senior brother, mine. Ming Shireen quietly pointed towards their stern faced master. Little Yuan -er quickly changed her tune. Master, I don't want these boots. Lu Zhou examined the cloud stepping boots, noticing they, like the cloud robe feather dress, were no ordinary items. The cloud stepping boots were said to be woven specifically for celestial maidens, making one as light as a swallow and capable of soaring through the skies. The materials for the cloud stepping boots, twin flying plumes and fire ether, are extremely precious, melted and then crafted by master tailors. Upon this reflection, he slowly said, go back and tell Yu Zhenghai, if he wants to apologize, he should come in person. Hua Chongyang, relieved, I will definitely convey the message. Then, he rose and led the others towards the flying chariot. The people below looked up in admiration. The four great protectors indeed carry the demeanor of experts, facing the pressure of the demonic ancestor with calm. However, a surprising scene unfolded as the four great protectors entered the flying chariot. It took off like a startled rabbit, speeding away into the distance. Wei Zhuiyan approached Lu Zhou, bowing, thank you, elder. Li Brocade Close followed suit, bowing deeply, thank you, elder. Lu Zhou nodded, then turned to her, where is Jian Ijian? Li Brocade Close was momentarily stunned before honestly answering, he's at Skylark Tower. Ming Shireen curiously asked, what's he doing at Skylark Tower? Li Brocade Clothes didn't hide anything. Fishing. Ming Shireen asked in confusion. Fishing? Li Brocade Clothes truthfully responded. He said he likes fishing, has been fishing at Skylark Tower these past few days. That's all I know. Lu Zhou nodded upon hearing this. Then, let's go to Skylark Tower. With that, he turned and left the scene. As Ming Shireen passed by Li Brocade Clothes, he paused. Consider it. Joining Evil Sky Pavilion, Li Brocade Clothes slightly bowed, but didn't answer. Little Yuan -er also greeted Li Brocade Clothes. Sister, let me give you a piece of advice. Do cut ties with Jian Ijian. That guy is shameless. Li Brocade Clothes was slightly taken aback. Thank you, little sister, but I'm not close to him. That's good. Goodbye. Oh, and, you're the first stranger I've actually liked. Duan Mushing was more straightforward, simply stating, farewell. Li Brocade Clothes said she wasn't close to Jian Ijian, but aside from little Yuan -er, no one would believe it. Could someone Jian Ijian ask to be saved just be an ordinary relation? Meanwhile, the underworld sex for great protectors hurried back to Mount Tranquility. As the flying chariot arrived above Mount Tranquility, a figure appeared at the bow in a flash. The four great protectors immediately bowed in unison. Greetings, sect leader. Yu Jinghai smiled slightly, asking, how did it go? Reporting to the sect leader, the gift has been delivered, and we've also met the elder. His methods are heaven-reaching. The four of us combined were no match for him. Yu Jinghai's expression became solemn. Tell me everything in detail. Leave nothing out. The four great protectors did not dare to delay, as they had never seen their sect leader take a matter so seriously before. They recounted everything that happened in Anyang City. After listening, Yu Jinghai fell into deep thought. Sonic power, great supernatural powers. There are many proficient in sonic power, but few can elevate it to the realm of great supernatural powers. As the eldest disciple of Evil Sky Pavilion, I thought I knew the master better than anyone. I've never seen the master use any sonic power or great supernatural powers technique.
techniques. Could it be that the master is really trying to practice techniques from other sects? If it were anyone else, he wouldn't believe they could perfect other techniques. But this person is Ji Tian now. Yu Hai turned and asked, Are you certain it was our master? We were somewhat distant and didn't see the elder's face in full. But we can confirm, the person we saw was indeed the elder. How can you be sure? We saw Mr. Ninth wearing the cloud robe feather dress. Cloud robe feather dress. Heh. <laughs> Second junior brother, I truly underestimated you. Sect leader, upon our arrival in Anyang, we didn't see the Mr. Second. The second junior brother has always preferred to be alone. With your capabilities, you must not provoke him. We will heed the sect leader's command. The four great protectors noticed Yu Xinghai's expression was somewhat off, quickly adding, Mr. Ninth also likes the cloud stepping boots. Yu Xinghai burst into laughter upon hearing this. Ha! Ah, the cloud robe feather dress is just protective gear for taking hits. It's only natural that our little junior sister would prefer the cloud stepping boots. Sect leader is wise. Where are they now? Hua Chongyang bowed. We did not dare to follow, but upon my return, I acquired acquired clues from the Azure Dragon Hall. Mr. Seventh has already gone to Skylark Tower. It is said that each floor of the Cloudlark Ninefold Tower surpasses the one below it. Each level is a formation, and those who reach the ninth floor can obtain a treasure. Whether this is true or not, Yu Hai turned to overlook Mount Tranquility. Silent. Hua Chongyang remembered another message. Sect leader. The elder asked me to convey that if you wish to apologize, you should do so in person. Yu Hai's expression remained calm. How can I abandon my great mission halfway? The four answered in unison. We swear to follow the sect leader to the death. Yu Hai nodded in satisfaction. Do you know who impersonated the underworld sect? Hua Chongyang replied. The imposter appeared for a very short time, using methods similar to ours, from the flying chariot to their techniques, except for the mysterious strong individual aboard. The others were weaker, skilled in imitation. Even the mysterious heavenly starlight was similar to the sect leader's technique. When we arrived, we found they used sorcery, likely a powerful sorcery cultivator. Yu Hai speculated. Clarity sects leader Machi, clarity sects Machi indeed combines the strengths of many, but Machi doesn't seem skilled in sorcery. It's said there's a powerful sorcery cultivator in the Great Flame Palace. Another possibility is that Machi has sided with the palace, and there's more than one expert aboard the flying chariot. This deduction was reasonable, yet deductions are just that, requiring evidence to prove. Any slight error in speculation could impact the underworld sect's future plans. Hua Chongyang volunteered, please give me three days, I will ascertain the truth. Yu Hai nodded and continued to survey the mountains and lands, finally focusing on Skylark Tower, Cloudlark Ninefold Tower, where each level possesses its own formation. Many cultivators venture to the Ninefold Tower, trying their luck to obtain some treasures. Skylark Tower is not in Anyang, but northeast, near the mouth of the Nine Bends River, a cultivation holy land not protected by any city, with its scenic beauty close to the Nine Bends River. At this moment, Lu Zhou and his group arrived beside the Nine Bends River. Ming Shireen, puzzled, noted, the river water of Nine Bends River is turbulent and muddy, without fish all year round. Is Jiang Aijian lying? Duan Mushing raised an eyebrow. He wouldn't dare. Then, the towering Cloudlark Ninefold Tower appeared in their view. Everyone was shocked by its height on their first sighting. Truly worthy of the name Skylark Tower, so incredibly tall. Lu Zhou, or more accurately Ji Tiandao, had been here several times, though many memories were unclear. Suddenly, a figure swept across and stood on a nearby branch. Hey, long time no see, missed me? The charming and dashing Jiang Aijian meets everyone again. Lu Zhou, looking at his carefree demeanor, stroked his beard. My patience is limited. Startled, Jiang Aijian hurriedly landed on the ground. No, I'm coming down. Look how obedient I am. Elder, let's gather inside the pavilion. Then, they went inside the pavilion. Lu Zhou eyed him sharply, making Jiang Aijian feel uneasy. Elder, don't look at me like that. It's embarrassing. Speak. First, I want to thank the Elder for helping Li Brocade clothes. Is Li Brocade clothes yours? Hearing Lu Zhou's question, Jiang Aijian honestly answered, a friend. So, how do you plan to repay this favor to me? Jiang Aijian paused, shedding his frivolous demeanor, and took out a box from his bosom. Elder, please have a look inside. Lu Zhou opened the brocade box to find the Azure Fall fragment he had been searching for. At that moment, the system's quest tab showed that the task of finding the Azure Fall fragment was completed by two. He hadn't expected Jian Aijian to possess such ability, which was somewhat surprising. Jian Aijian chuckled and explained, I found this in the Imperial Palace's inner treasury. The first time I went to the inner treasury, I discovered the Azure Fall fragment, but didn't take it. Hearing that the Elder needed it, I had no choice but to visit the inner treasury again. Although the Azure Fall fragment is just a piece, it's a peculiar weapon that can easily slice through forceful energy, making it easy to injure an enemy unexpectedly. Satisfied, Lu Zhou stored away the Azure Fall fragment and then asked, Will Yun San appear at Skylark Tower? Jian Aijian smiled in response, That's for the Elder to know. People say that the seventh disciple of Evil Sky Pavilion, Si Wuya, has his intelligence spread across every corner of Great Flame. He spread the rumor that a treasure would appear at Skylark Tower, known as the Heavenly Silkworm Gloves. Coincidentally Yun San's most cherished 
item, originally belonging to the Cloud, Sky, and Luo Set. Yunsan, the sole heir of the Divine Thieves Set, could never steal it. Later, somehow, the Heavenly Silkworm Gloves ended up in Si Wuya's hands. Elder, you're not orchestrating this, are you? Lu Zhou neither denies nor confirms. Did you invite me here just for this? Jian Ijian waved his hands. No, of course not. Elder, I'm curious which side you've chosen. Lu Zhou looked puzzled at him. Jian Ijian picked up five pebbles, explaining, This represents the Crown Prince. This the second prince. This the third prince. Oh, never mind this one. This the fourth prince. This the fifth prince. And there's the Jade Consort. Elder, you've never met the Crown Prince, so you probably won't choose him. The second prince sees the Elder as a thorn in his side. The fourth prince has been on the frontier for years with weak influence in the palace. The fifth prince is too timid to make a difference, and the Jade Consort detests evil Sky Pavilion the most. So, you have no choice. Well, as long as the Elder doesn't get involved in palace intrigues, I'll be at ease. The atmosphere turned somewhat awkward as he analyzed everything and answered on behalf of Lu Zhou. The palace has descended into such chaos? Jiang Ijian sighed deeply. The palace's intrigues will eventually spread outside. Anyang is an example. Lu Zhou continued to ask, if you have already left the palace, why do you still intervene in the matters of Anyang? Jiang Ijian scratched his head. As I mentioned before, Li Brocade Clothes is my friend. How could I possibly stand by and watch her die? If Li Brocade Clothes dies, Wei Zhuiyan will also die. The army will be without a leader. The second prince will be furious. The royal family will be in chaos, and the world will be in chaos. You have such a broad mind. You would be quite suited to be the emperor. Hearing this, Jiang Ijian waved his hands repeatedly. I have no such ambition. My pursuit is simple, to live and to practice swordplay. Ming Shireen looked somewhat speechless. This guy is really despicable. Lu Zhou's gaze fell on the sword in Jian Ijian's hand. Dragon roar? Jian Ijian nodded excitedly, peeling off the white cloth layer by layer to reveal the dragon pattern decoration inside. Lu Zhou said calmly, good sword. Jian Ijian's eyes showed obsession. I think so too. I've never seen such a good sword in my life. To test its sharpness, I've already lost a quasi-heavenly weapon. Anything below the earth level is like tofu to it. After hearing this, Lu Zhou smiled slightly, very good. Then, a delicately exquisite small sword transformed from the nameless appeared in the palm of his hand, ready to clash with the heavenly weapon, Dragon Roar. Seeing his action, Jiang Ijian immediately panicked. He hurriedly put away the Dragon Roar sword and hugged it in his arms. Senior, there's no need to make it difficult. It's not worth it if both swords are damaged. Seeing his distressed look, Lu Zhou did not insist. At this moment, a group of cultivators appeared in the sky, flying from the opposite side of the Nine Bends River towards Skylark Tower. Jiang Ijian smiled slightly. They're here. Let's go see. Upon hearing this, Lu Zhou stood up and walked towards Skylark Tower. There were already many cultivators gathered in front of Skylark Tower, from the Mystic and Lightning Realm to the Divine Court Realm. Every cultivation realm was present. It seemed that a short sword was placed on the ninth floor of Skylark Tower, and it was up to whoever could get it, relying on wit rather than brute force. It was said that the day before yesterday, a master from the Divine Capital in the nascent Divinity Tribulation Realm was ejected on the seventh floor, whereas last year, a cultivator in the Brahma Sea Realm entered the ninth floor and took away a treasure. While everyone was discussing, a cultivator was thrown out from the third floor, and everyone stepped back to make way. Jian Ijian quietly moved closer to Lu Zhou. Old senior, let me tell you a secret. What's placed on Skylark Tower is not a short sword. Two Azure Fall Fragments. Although not comparable to a heavenly weapon, these two fragments together can be reforged. If forged properly, it will surely be a heavenly weapon. During the conversation, two more cultivators flew out from the sixth and seventh floors, respectively. The onlookers sighed in resignation upon seeing this. This year's Skylark Ninefold Formation seems unlikely to be breached by anyone. Jian Ijian cheekily approached Lu Zhou. Old senior, why don't you give it a try? With the old senior making a move, it would surely be easily accomplished. Lu Zhou turned to look at him. Are you here for the short sword? Jian Ijian shouted, Injustice, this is the Skylark Ninefold Formation. What's placed above are two Azure Fall Fragments, Heavenly Tear. Upon hearing this, the attention of everyone was drawn. Below the Skylark Tower, the crowd exploded into a frenzy again. It's the Azure Fall Fragments. This time it's the Azure Fall Fragments to the former evil Sky Pavilion. The Azure Fall Fragments weren't valuable, as the fragments were only earthly tier items, and not actual weapons. It was precisely for this reason that Yunsan managed to steal them. However, to the outside world, these materials are extremely precious. The Azure Fall Fragments are not completed weapons, but excellent materials for forging weapons. Even weapons forged from
from thousand-year-old cold iron might not compare to the Azure Fall fragments, with their innate ability to slice through forceful energy, making them highly coveted. Yet, the forging process is extremely difficult. Lu Zhou looked at Jian Ijian skeptically. Jian Ijian shrugged helplessly. Well, I did it on purpose. There's strength in numbers. Climbing the Skylark Tower's ninefold formation isn't just about cultivation level. So, after they rush up and take away the Azure Fall fragments, we then rob them? Jian Ijian chuckled. Mr. Fourth is smart indeed. How did you know that the Azure Fall fragment is placed on Skylark Tower? Jian Ijian spread his hands. The owner of Skylark Tower is my friend. Hearing this, Ming Shireen really wanted to pin him down and give him a beating. Why didn't you say so earlier? Couldn't you have just gone up and taken it? Jian Ijian saw what he was thinking. The ninefold formation of Skylark Tower is always active. It only disappears periodically, and that's the only time you can go up and take it. Have you seen the Nine Bends River? When the tide rises, the formation ceases. The news about the Azure Fall fragment spread quickly, and some cultivators nearby rushed over upon hearing it. Jian Ijian, seeing this, was somewhat speechless, unexpected. I didn't think so many people would come. Lu Zhou shook his head. It doesn't matter. For him, how many people come is not important. What's important is whether Yenzi Yunsan from the Divine Thieves sect will come. After some cultivators failed, they began to complain. Is there a mistake? Why is the ninefold formation harder than last year? Last year, I could reach the third level, but this year, I only made it to the second. Nonsense. If it doesn't improve, it will be breached year after year. Do you think they will just hand over the treasure to you for free? Alas, I guess I'm not fated to have it. I take my leave. Watching cultivators being continuously repelled, Ming Shireen chuckled. What's the use of having so many if none of them succeed? Jian Ijian asked Lu Zhou if he had any thoughts. Lu Zhou calmly stated, be free of distractions. Jian Ijian was confused upon hearing this, and was about to ask further when he saw two figures flying out from the eighth floor of Skylark Tower. The two landed with a few coughs, barely stabilizing themselves, evidently still having the strength to protect themselves. The people nearby hurriedly gathered around. How is it? Can you share some insights and experiences? The blonde man wiped the sweat from his face. Difficult. Very difficult. Is that all? The other man with red hair sighed. I advise you all to give up. I've never seen such a difficult formation to break through. Reaching the eighth level shows that his understanding of formations far surpasses those before him. Aren't you going to try again? No need. It's impossible for anyone to break through the ninth level. Zhang puts his word here. Believe it or not, as you wish. Upon hearing this, little Yuan or immediately felt a bit defiant. Master, I want to give it a try. Lu Zhou understood that little Yuaner was naturally playful. Having behaved more properly than before since leaving the evil Sky Pavilion, he couldn't be unkind. Thus, he agreed to her idea of venturing into Skylark Tower to seek treasure. Seeing that her master agreed, little Yuaner excitedly headed towards Skylark Tower. Jian Ijian chuckled on the side. Little girl, good luck. Hearing this, little Yuaner glared at him. Shut up. Who are you calling little girl? Seeing her reaction, Jian Ijian instinctively stepped back a few steps. Goodness, still as fierce as before. Ming Shireen glanced at him. I advise you it's best not to provoke her. You might not be her match now. Hearing this, Jian Ijian's heart skipped a beat. Madam, good luck. Little Yuaner's attire clearly did not resemble that of someone from an ordinary family, probably a wealthy and noble daughter from Anyang City. Such a cultured and knowledgeable female cultivator is rare. Curiously, the crowd parted to give her a path. Watching her enter Skylark Tower, Jian Ijian approached Lu Zhou. Old senior, aren't you worried at all? Lu Zhou raised an eyebrow. Why should I worry? If she can't make it through, she'll be repelled by the formation. At best, her vital energy will be in disarray for a few days. At worst, she could be injured for half a year. Hearing this, Lu Zhou shook his head. No matter. Just as Jian Ijian was about to say something else, a voice suddenly reached their ears. Master. Everyone turned toward the sound and was surprised to find little Yuan hopping and jumping up to the fifth floor. Master. I'm here. Moreover, she seemed to be exerting little effort and was not affected at all. From the moment she entered to when she appeared on the fifth floor, not much time had passed, meaning little Yuan had almost made no stops and kept climbing up after entering Skylark Tower. Jian Ijian was completely dumbfounded. Ming Shireen spoke dismissively. The Skylark Ninefold Formation, the first to third floors are illusions, the fourth to fifth floors are mazes, the sixth to seventh floors are inner demons, and the eighth floor is auditory hallucinations. How could these first eight floors possibly pose a difficulty for our little junior sister? Hearing this, Jian Ijian's face turned awkward. All right then. This was also within Lu Zhou's expectations. Little Yuan is innocent and free of distractions. Naturally, there would be no disturbances for her in the first eight floors. The ninth floor will probably not be so easy, because the challenge there is an intelligence test, which even someone as smart as me finds difficult to pass. Jian Ijian's words gained the agreement of two strong individuals behind him. Humph, even we couldn't get through. It's impossible for anyone in this world to make it. Just as they finished speaking, a loud bang suddenly came from above in the distance, sounding like someone failing to break through the eighth floor. Everyone showed a look of regret, as failure came with a cost. That brother also reached the eighth floor. Maybe a new formation
station was set up on the ninth floor. Let's ask the girl when she comes down. However, while everyone was feeling sympathetic, a figure appeared on top of Skylark Tower. Master, I got it. Everyone was stunned, staring blankly at Lil Yuana on the rooftop, who was dancing around joyously, reporting her success to her master. After a moment of silence below, an uproar ensued. She actually made it up there. When I was her age, I hadn't even been weaned off milk. How is this possible? I haven't even been weaned off now. I can't believe I'm not even as good as a little girl. The ninth floor's challenge tests intelligence. My friend said that in the entire divine capital, no more than three people could solve that puzzle. Could the little girl's wisdom be so great? Ming Shireen glanced at him. You're overthinking it. Jian Ijian was immediately puzzled. Please enlighten me, Mr. Fourth. Ming Shireen smiled slightly. Just kick it open. Jian Ijian was speechless. The two strong cultivators who had reached the eighth floor spat out blood in frustration. How could they not be angry? They were just one step away. The staff guarding Skylark Tower announced the result. The formation has been broken. The treasure has an owner. Cloud Lark Ninefold Tower. See you next year. The majority were stopped by the first eight floors, with only a few reaching the ninth floor. Everyone thought the ninth floor's challenge would be the hardest, but in fact, the ninth floor was the simplest. It was just a kick at the door. After a brief silence, the crowd suddenly erupted into exclamations. Their greedy gazes turned towards Lil Yuaner's figure on the rooftop, and then they rushed into Skylark Tower, competing to get in first. Mine. The treasure is mine. An innocent man holds no blame, but possession of a jade makes him guilty. Little girl, the Azure Fall fragment isn't meant for you to take. Clearly, they had agreed beforehand to do this. Such incidents were too common in Skylark Tower. Two figures leaped up, flying towards the rooftop simultaneously. Seeing this, Little Yuana was not afraid in the slightest. Brahma Heaven Silk. The Brahma Heaven Silk around her body expanded. As her words fell, she slapped towards the two men who had just approached. They were directly slapped, spat out blood, and flew backwards, crashing to the ground. Little Yuana's display of formidable strength stunned everyone present. The remaining cultivators instantly became more subdued, daring not to act rashly anymore. Watching Little Yuana defeat the cultivators trying to snatch the treasure, Jian Ijian stepped back in surprise. How has the little girl become so strong? With a heavenly grade weapon and a breakthrough in cultivation, she's become many times stronger than when we first met. At this moment, an unexpected event occurred. Above the Nine Bends River, a ghostly flying chariot appeared in everyone's view, passing through the sea of clouds, the forests and mountains, and the Nine Bends River, hovering hundreds of meters above the Cloudlark Ninefold Tower, its speed like flowing clouds. The flying chariot came directly in front of Little Yuaner. Seeing this, Ming Shireen wanted to help his junior sister, but Lu Zhou shook his head. No need. His intuition told him that Yin Zi Yinsan might appear soon, possibly hiding in some dark corner watching everything, or even standing among these cultivators. At this moment, a black-robed cultivator emerged from the flying chariot, holding a brocade box in his hands. Congratulations to Mr. Ninth on his birthday. By the command of our leader, I present a gift. As his voice fell, the brocade box was gently lifted by a weak forceful energy and flew towards Skylark Tower. The cultivators below were surprised by this scene. The visitor is a master. Although I can't sense the exact level of cultivation, with such an entourage, he must be higher than me. What identity does this little girl have? To be treated with such respect by a mysterious cultivator. Seeing this, Jian Ijian smiled slightly. Evil Sky Pavilion Si Wuya indeed lives up to his reputation. The treasure in that brocade box must be the heavenly silkworm gloves. Little Yuaner was looking forward to receiving it, but at that moment, from a light boat on the surface of the Nine Bends River, suddenly a hook shot out, directly grabbing towards the brocade box. Got a bite. Jian Ijian, with a tap of his foot, flew towards the Nine Bends River like lightning, followed closely by Ming Shireen and Duan Mushin. Jian Ijian was the first to reach the boat, lifted the curtain, but found no one on board, only a mechanism. Duan Mushin swung his overlord spear, piercing through the light boat and directly diving into the Nine Bends River to investigate. At this moment, a hook and rope also extended from a distant pavilion. Ming Shireen, who was about to investigate, stopped. He had a premonition that Yin Ziyunsan's plan to obtain the heavenly silkworm gloves wouldn't be as simple as just preparing a hook and rope. His junior sister might also become a target of Yunsan. Upon this thought, he hesitated not a moment to use the Hunter Tribulation Insight Avatar and Great Supernatural Powers technique, flashing towards his junior sister. Just as he approached, a grappling hook appeared inside Skylark Tower, snatching the brocade box that was merely inches away from Little Yuaner first. Little Yuaner would not let her gift be taken away right in front of her eyes. She quickly reclaimed the brocade box with the Brahma Heaven Silk. Suddenly, a crossbow bolt, charged with forceful energy, shot out from the water. Little Yuaner was not afraid. With her Brahma Heaven Silk cloud robe feather dress and her nascent divinity tribulation realm cultivation, she could instantly deploy the six Union Seal defense. The bolt was fast, reaching her before she had fully set up her defense. But at that moment, an arrow shot at an even faster speed, cutting the crossbow bolt in half. Everyone was drawn to this arrow, 
looking towards the path in the woods from where it had been shot. The cultivators voluntarily kept quiet, even holding their breaths. Duan Mushing then leaped out of the water. No one's under the water, just some crossbows, all cleared. Ming Shireen raised an eyebrow and picked up the broken crossbow on the ground. You missed one. Little Yuaner handed over the Azure Fall fragment she got from Skylark Tower to her master. Disciple has not disgraced you. Having retrieved the Azure Fall fragment, Lu Zhou calmly accepted it and praised. Well done. Ding. Collected Azure Fall fragment asterisk 2. Awarded 200 merit points. The footsteps from the wooded path grew louder, followed by a deep, resonant voice that echoed around Skylark Tower. The Jade Consort arrives. Stand aside. Everyone looked in the direction of the sound, seeing at the end of the path a luxurious palanquin coming into view. Beside the luxurious palanquin, a pretty woman in pink clothes walked slowly with the entourage straight to Skylark Tower, with cultivators on both sides making way. Lu Zhou and the others did not move. His gaze fell on the woman beside the palanquin, name, flowers and moon journey, race, human, realm, nascent divinity tribulation realm. The palanquin slowly settled down, and the curtains were drawn. A dignified jade consort wearing a golden crown stepped out gracefully and stood elegantly with her hands in front of her. She approached Lu Zhou with a smile. This humble one offers her respects. Lu Zhou looked at her calmly. Do you recognize me? The surrounding cultivators, seeing the two greet each other, began discussing among themselves. Even the jade consort pays her respects to this elder. Who is he? The jade consort spoke with a smile. Why not go upstairs for a chat? Lu Zhou glanced around and then headed towards tower, noting that Jian Aijian had already disappeared. Never mind, he's probably avoiding exposing his identity. Let him be. Upon reaching the top of Skylark Tower and sitting down, Ming Shireen, Duan Musheng, and Little Yuaner stood behind him. The Jade Consort was accompanied by four or five soldiers and the Archer Flowers and Moon Journey. Lu Zhou read out her name, one of the three great archers of the Divine Capital, Flowers and Moon Journey. Ming Shireen looked at her in surprise. That astonishing arrow that blocked the Black Crossbow from the Nine Bends River was indeed impressive. Flowers and Moon Journey bowed. I'm honored that the senior knows of me. Lu Zhou took a sip of tea. If I'm not mistaken, you were originally from the Luo sect. Hearing this, Flowers and Moon Journey blushed and stepped back, clearly feeling that leaving her sect was not something to boast about. The Jade Consort chuckled, breaking the awkwardness. Why should the venerable elder jest at the junior? Flowers and Moon Journey is a master archer. A woman cannot wander everywhere. Serving the court is her destiny. Lu Zhou nodded. Everyone has their own path and cannot be forced. Speak. What is it? After hearing this, the Jade Consort slowly started. I have come here to clarify a few misunderstandings with the venerable elder. The first matter involves Xin Yuan, who went by the name Wang Fugui, sent to Anyang for an assassination mission. This person was not under my command, but was framed and used as a pawn to sow discord. Indeed, I come from the western regions, and my sisters were killed because of Mr. Second of the Evil Sky Pavilion, but I hold no grudge against the Evil Sky Pavilion. The venerable elder is wise and discerning. I dare not lie to you. When Lu Zhou killed Wang Fugui, he indeed suspected that someone was stirring up trouble behind the scenes. However, without concrete evidence and with the dead unable to be revived, Lu Zhou wouldn't believe her based solely on her word. The Jade Consort continued, the second matter is that after Xin Yuan's death, the friction between the evil Sky Pavilion and the palace had nothing to do with me. Flowers and Moon Journey can testify to this. Lu Zhou looked at her calmly, why should I believe Flowers and Moon Journey? The Jade Consort stood awkwardly in place, what I have said is entirely true. The Venerable Elder has crossed hands with the Masters in the palace before. It's easy to tell truth from falsehood. The Jade Consort showed no signs of sorcery on her. If she truly dared to oppose the evil Sky Pavilion, she wouldn't appear at Skylark Tower alone. Still, Lu Zhou shook his head. How did you know I would be here? The Jade Consort explained. I heard about the chaos in Anyang City. The only person who could make the four great protectors of the underworld sex submit, apart from the master of the evil Sky Pavilion, I couldn't think of anyone else. Lu Zhou stood up, hands behind his back, looking down at the Nine Bends River. Then, do you know why I came here? The Jade Consort shook her head. I only came to clear up misunderstandings, nothing else. Lu Zhou added, Yunsan stole something from me. Yunsan, the sole successor of the Divine Thieves sect, skilled in the cloud probing hand. Yinzi Yunsan, I've heard this person is extremely agile. Even the Luo sect, where Flowers and Moon Journey is from, couldn't catch him. It won't be easy for the Elder to catch him. Lu Zhou smiled slightly, just a rat lurking in the shadows. Once I make a move, he cannot escape. He emphasized the last three words. Then, he lifted his palm, and a glowing card appeared, instantly forming a square cage that swiftly enveloped below Skylark Tower. The disciples were surprised to see their master taking action. The Jade Consort and Flowers and Moon Journey watched in astonishment as the cage descended from the sky, resonating with vital energy. At that moment, a square-faced cultivator among them cried out, Not good, I've been exposed. This person was the sole successor of the Divine Thieves sect, Yunzi Yunsan. Yunsan removed his mask and laughed loudly, escaping swiftly while saying, Sorry, old G, this move can't trap
trap me. From now on, the name Yinzi Yunsan will spread throughout the entire Great Flame. The surrounding cultivators looked at each other, and after realizing what happened, many of them hurriedly fled. Run, that's the big demon from the evil sky pavilion. The demon from the evil sky pavilion is here? What are you waiting for? This is terrifying. Worthless. Lu Zhou stood atop Skylark Tower, his brows furrowed as he watched below. Yunsan's speed exceeded his expectations. Jade Consort and Flowers and Moon Journey were stunned. From such a distance, what kind of attack was that? Sorcery? Some kind of magic? Or a technique only an archer would know? Flowers and Moon Journey, one of the three great archers of the Divine Capital, couldn't think of any archery technique like that. Despite not knowing it herself, having studied for many years at the Luo sect and browsed all the books about archers in the sex library, she had never heard or seen such a technique. Lu Zhou wasn't sure if he could hit Yunsan. He initially planned to let him go if he didn't trigger the probability, but Yunsan's words as he fled made Lu Zhou change his mind. How could the Grand Master of the Evil Sky Pavilion, the greatest demon of this era, let you escape easily? Thinking this, he leaped from Skylark Tower and summoned Bayan to catch him, chasing after Yunsan. The cultivators around Skylark Tower were dumbstruck as Lu Zhou rode Bayan, rushing like a gust of wind. Along the way, he used two more cage binding prop cards, targeting Yunsan's hiding spot. The leading cage expanded to 10 meters wide and continued to grow. Yunsan dashed through the woods, boasting, the combined forces of Cloud, Sky, and Luo sect couldn't catch me. You think you can from such a distance? Ha! Ah, his speed was alarmingly fast, maintaining it for nearly 20 kilometers before slowing. His cultivation was just at the Divine Court realm, but his pure speed was comparable to the nascent Divinity Tribulation realm. Catching him would require great supernatural powers. After his arrogant remarks, Yunsan turned his head and was stunned. What is this? A massive square cage descended from the sky, a sight that would scare anyone regardless of their cultivation level. The cage landed above him and then dissipated into ripples, leaving him bewildered. What's this? Nothing happened? Just as Yunsan was puzzled, Lu Zhou's voice suddenly came from behind. My goodness. He burst out with vital energy and sprinted desperately, by in charge directly, breaking through a series of trees, nearly catching up when Yunsan suddenly vanished underground. Lu Zhou, riding by and stopped. Is it an earth escaping technique? The second and third cage bindings arrived, landing 20 meters ahead to his left and then dissipating. The probability had not triggered. The third cage binding, like a net from heaven and earth, formed a huge grid on the ground, closing in from all sides with electric currents seeping underground. This time, the probability had triggered. Lu Zhou, calmly observing, stroked his beard. Yunsan, do you still think you can escape? Yunsan made several whimpering sounds, hastily pleading, Elder, spare my life. Elder, please spare me. Lu Zhou waved his hand, giving the command, take him away. Bayan let out a deep growl, excitedly running over and started digging with its claws. Moments later, to the north of Skylark Tower, Lu Zhou returned through the air on Bayan, which held someone in its mouth. It was Yenzi Yunsan, the sole successor of the Divine Thieves sect who had tried to escape. Bayan spat out Yunsan, and Lu Zhou, along with Bayan, returned to the ninth floor. Seeing this, his disciples quickly started flattering. Master's divine might is unparalleled through the ages. The Jade Consort bowed slightly. The Venerable Elder's methods are astounding, leaving me in awe. Lu Zhou paid them no heed, but looked down at Yunsan on the ground. I have questions for you. You just need to answer. Yunsan struggled to his feet, nodding fearfully. Where are the remaining Azure Fall fragments? Yunsan swallowed hard before answering. Three pieces are in the past palace, but these two were already on Skylark Tower. One is in the hands of Machi from Clarity Sect, and another is in the Great Void Temple. The Azure Fall Fragment in the Great Void Temple should be the one given to Monk Su Liao of the Heaven Chosen Temple. As for the three pieces in the palace, Skylark Tower's Lil Yuaner took two pieces, Jian Ijian took one piece from the Inner Treasury. The whereabouts of the other three pieces are unknown. Yun San looked up stealthily at the Jade Consort sitting next to him, stuttering without being able to speak clearly. There are three more pieces. Ming Shireen scolded, Stop beating around the bush. Speak up. Yunsan mumbled in cold sweat. Should I really say it? At this moment, the Jade Consort's emotionless voice rose. What should be said? What shouldn't be said? Don't you know? Lu Zhou's gaze shifted to the Jade Consort. Do you know why I knew he was Yunsan? The Jade Consort was taken aback. I, a mere woman, do not understand cultivation. How would I know? Ming Shireen's eyes lit up. Disciple understands. Lu Zhou, too lazy to elaborate further, let him speak his mind. Ming Shireen shared his speculation. The grappling hooks around Skylark Tower and the mechanisms under water had to be set up in advance. Since the owner of Skylark Tower comes from the Divine Capital, it's easiest to connect it with the palace. Yunsan couldn't have done this alone, which means there is someone else behind Yunsan. After hearing this, the Jade Consort applauded. Makes sense. If that's the case, who could it be? Ming Shireen's eyes sharpened. Someone with a grudge against the evil Sky Pavilion. Someone familiar with Skylark Tower. As soon as he finished speaking, Yunsan made a sudden leap towards the outside of Skylark Tower. Seeing this, Flowers and Moon Journey drew her bow and arrow, shouting angrily, thinking of escaping? I won't give you the chance. A golden arrow shot straight for Yunsan's life.
life. However, Duan Mushing flipped in the air, dispersing flowers and Moon Journey's forceful energy arrow, while Red Brahma Heaven Silk swept out, firmly trapping Yunsan in midair. Ming Shireen's mind raced, with Yunsan's cultivation bound. Jumping down wouldn't allow him to escape, so why did he attempt to flee? Lu Zhou then turned to Flowers and Moon Journey and said four words. To silence him, Flowers and Moon Journey couldn't help but step back. Junior wouldn't dare. I only wish to assist the elder. Right after she spoke, Ming Shireen's palm struck Flowers and Moon Journey, causing her to grunt as her bow fell to the ground and her body was thrown out of Skylark Tower. Ming Shireen followed, his separation hook poised in front of her. Dare to play tricks? I'll take your life. The Jade Consort turned pale and quickly bowed. Venerable Elder, please wait. Lu Zhou spoke calmly. Let her come up. Ming Shireen, obeying the command, quietly moved aside. Flowers and Moon Journey, panting, returned to the Jade Consort's side, narrowly avoiding serious injury. The Jade Consort sighed softly. I had no choice in my actions. Indeed, Yun San is my man. With that, it became clear. Yun San belonged to the Jade Consort, which is why he dared not say much. Flowers and Moon Journey, in turn, sought to seize the opportunity to silence him. Lu Zhou's gaze returned to Yun San. Speak. Terrified, Yun San trembled all over. First, he cowed out to the Jade Consort before daring to speak. The remaining three Azure Fall fragments are in the hands of the Jade Consort. Please forgive me, your highness. Please forgive me. With this, it was revealed that there were actually four Azure Fall fragments in the palace. The piece Jian Ijian took from the inner treasury was already accounted for and need not be considered further. The Jade Consort explained, Venerable Elder, the bows in the hands of Flowers and Moon Journey were forged from three Azure Fall fragments. My concealment was to avoid deepening the conflict with the evil Sky Pavilion. Yun San, using my connections, set up many traps in Skylark Tower to obtain the Heavenly Silkhorn Gloves. I was unaware of this. If I truly intended to be an enemy of the evil Sky Pavilion, how could I dare to come to Skylark Tower to face death? Flowers and Moon Journey bowed. If that's the case, I would not have tried to stop Yun San. I am willing to return the bow to the evil Sky Pavilion. Ming Shireen stepped forward and patted her. That's more like it. Two pieces of the Azure Fall Fragment, when properly forged, can create a heavenly weapon, but it requires extremely rare materials. Surprisingly, these three pieces of Azure Fall Fragment only produced an earthly bow, which seemed somewhat wasteful. Lu Zhou waved his right hand and collected the bow. Ding! Collected Azure Fall Bow requires rare refining to obtain Azure Fall Fragment Asterisk 3. Lu Zhou glanced at the mission progress. Only one piece was missing to complete the mission, much smoother than expected. Initially, it seemed that finding the Azure Fall Fragments scattered across the lands would be challenging. Yun San, I'll give you a chance to live. Hearing there was a chance, Yun San cowed out continuously towards Lu Zhou. Please command, Elder. I'll do anything to live. I appreciate those who know their place. Since you gave the Azure Fall Fragment to Clarity Set, you will be the one to retrieve it. Yun San dared not refuse. I'll go, Elder. Can I go to Clarity Set? Can my cultivation be unbound? Ming Shireen pondered. Master, I have something to say. Yun San is skilled in theft. If his cultivation is unbound, capturing him again might not be easy. He's been bold in your presence. Such a person can do anything. But if his cultivation is sealed, he can't use his skills. I can use a vital energy mark. So no matter where he runs, it'll be futile. Lu Zhou nodded in agreement with his plan. Ming Shireen then approached Yun San, raising his hand to form a special mark with vital energy and implanted it into Yun San's body. Master, I've finished. However, this mark will only last for three months. Lu Zhou stroked his beard and nodded, turning to Yun San. I'll give you seven days. Yun San was startled. Not three months? Isn't seven days too short? Ming Shireen's face darkened. You have no right to bargain. If you don't bring back the Azure Fall Fragment in seven days, I'll come after you. No matter where you run, I will find you and spare no effort in punishing you. With his vital energy returned, Yun San hurriedly cowed out. I'll go to Clarity Sect right now. He then leaped down from Skylark Tower and ran into the woods. At this moment, the Jade Consort smiled slightly. Venerable Elder, I have matters to attend to and must leave first. Lu Zhou stood up slowly. Wait, what does the Venerable Elder wish to instruct? You seem to lack sincerity. 